two weeks from yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I will be on StonerCast with Jason Society. Good people. I'm sure there were a lot of good people that were in the Q nightclub last night. Unfortunately, we're going to have to hear about just a horrific act of violence yet again in this country. Day after day after day. It's just another day in mass shooting USA. Yeah, I need more weed. With the newer, I forgot information in that horrific attack inside a nightclub. Five people killed, 25 others hurt. Authorities say the gunfire started when a 22 year old man walked into the club and began firing during a drag show. And now we're learning more about that suspect and the patrons who, yeah, didn't know it was a drag show. I can pretty much guess his motherfucker's politics. As just it being a LGBTQ club, I'm pretty sure I could guess his politics. But now that we're, we're specifically saying that this is a drag show, you can't tell me that Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, Steven Crowder, and the rest of those chuckle fucks aren't directly responsible for this. We put a stop to the attack. We've got team coverage on this deadly shooting, including reaction from the LGBT community. LGBTQ community here. We're going to begin with Lucy Yang. She is in the newsroom with the latest from Colorado. Lucy. Well, Sandra, we're hearing from one of the doctors treating this latest round of victims. Yeah, who good said, evening. Quote, it is unfortunate. Hospitals around the United States have become quite adept at this. End quote. Indeed, trauma surgeons anywhere and everywhere now being forced to be able to respond to mass casualties from mass shootings. A community now in mourning, remembering the victims of a mass shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. Initial evidence and interviews indicate that the suspect entered Club, club Q and immediately began shooting at people inside. The suspect has been identified as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldridge. Law enforcement officials briefed on the investigation tell ABC News he is the same person arrested in a June 2021 bomb threat incident. At least two firearms were found at the scene. We are still working to identify the firearms and who they belong to, but I can confirm that the suspect used a long rifle during this shooting. Authorities praising the actions of some brave patrons. We know one or more patrons heroically intervened to subdue the suspect, and we praise those individuals who did so because their actions clearly saved lives. It was so scary. I heard shots, broken glass, bodies. Joshua Thurman says he was dancing when the shots rang out. It was, how, why? Some of his friends among those killed. This is the only LGBTQIA plus place in the entire city of Colorado Springs. What are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to go? How are we supposed to feel, feel safe in our environment when it just got shot up? According to its website, Club Q hosts a weekly drag show on Saturday nights, but now the website says the club will be closed until further notice. The suspect is in the hospital tonight while federal authorities consider adding the additional charge of hate crimes to multiple counts of murder. And the fact that they took him alive. This wasn't just a random act. Mass shooters tend to not have any regard for their own lives when they're doing it just to go in and, and, and do it for wanton killing. This was specifically a political act. Venus blood flow. Good evening. Jeremy M, thank you for being a freaking follower. We're so glad to have you here. Sorry it is under these circumstances. We're going to try to not be such a downer for the rest of the show. We're going to try to laugh at the dumb shit that right-wingers be doing. Uh, I believe this is the same guy we just heard from in the piece they just did, but maybe it's more of the interview. I grabbed two different videos on this. So this is from NBC News. It is indeed the same guy. But let's get uh, 
hopefully more of what he has to say. I was on the dance floor and I heard shots. I heard four to five shots ring out. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was the music. There was either the music was so loud that we couldn't hear anybody scream for help or we just didn't hear anybody. He thought it was MIA and all she wanted to do was, you know, boom, boom, boom. Bad joke. I'm sorry. Scream for help. Uh, so I thought it was the music. So I kept on enjoying myself. Um, and then I heard another set of shots ring out and I turned to my left and I saw the flash from the muzzle. And when I saw that, I ran and I ran to the dressing room uh, where the drag queens change and get ready for their performances. And there was, including me, there were two other people in there. We, I made them lock the doors. We closed and locked the doors. We got down on the ground and we cut off all the lights. We heard everything. We heard more of a third round of shots. Um, we heard the assailant be detained by, I think, I assume, employees of Club Q. Um, we heard the police come in. We heard yelling, shaking, crying, fearing for our lives. I'm thinking, like, at any second, this man could just bust through the door and kill us if he really wanted to. Bodies on the ground, blood, shattered glass, people dead. It was sad. It was scary. Our, our, our safe space is no longer our safe space, and we are a broken community, and it, it shouldn't, we shouldn't have to come together after something like this. Hey, we're going to try to get the serious shit out of the way here. Just another senseless act. As I said earlier, I feel like I'm the Bart Simpson meme where the rest of the classroom is look at, looking at him. Say the line! It's just another day. Mass shooting USA. I'm with you, Jeremy. And here's the thing is that I watched an interesting video uh, that red states in the face of mass shootings rushed to pass laws to loosen Loosen gun restrictions. Like, it's not just that red states don't act. It's that they literally, literally try to loosen gun restrictions in the face of mass shootings. Jack, we don't know much about the shooter at this time. We know he is 22 years old. He did survive. He is in custody and is being treated for some sort of injury. It appears that the uh, patrons or the workers at Club Q were the ones able to subdue him. Uh, Sarcastic so terrorism is exactly what this is. This is, this is, there is blood on the hands of Matt Walsh, Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, all the rest of those chuckle fucks. Justin Freakin, the formidable voice in the culture. Fuck Nazis, so glad to see you in here. And the thing that I don't get about right-wingers is they are always, always going off about, like, how dangerous drag queens are. Motherfucker, I don't know how many, how many fucking, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of a body count any of these drag queens have out here. There are children dying in schools, or clubs, or malls, or theaters aren't fucking safe. And you want to tell me about the dangers of fucking drag queens? or gender-affirming care, or a caravan coming to the border. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourself. It's just a deflection from your dereliction of duty. All of you Republican assholes, and yes, I said duty. Right-wingers are morons. I'm just... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to calm down. Steelers, good evening. Oh my God, yes, because more guns is the answer. Steelers, Steelers, come the fuck on, dude. Uh, there is a direct correlation from violence to the number of of, of guns. Direct correlation. 
Countries with more guns have more violence. Now, there are a couple of outliers. I will point that out. Sweden, for one, is an outlier that they have a e heavily armed population and don't see the, the same gun violence. But there's a lot of caveats when it comes to that. They actually, uh, I believe men are required to serve in the military and they're actually issued a fucking uh, rifle. But like, you, there are strict laws on that rifle's ownership and how you have to keep it. And it's like, it's like illegal to buy fucking ammunition. <laughs> You had to have like a special permit to go get it. There is no such thing as good people with a fucking gun. Stop it. That is NRA fucking propaganda. You're, you, you assholes still want to fucking come at me with a good person with a gun. How many goddamn cops were in Uvalde? What about, what about the resource officer at Parkland? He was a good guy with a gun and his coward ass hid. How many times do we have to see your so-called good person with a gun get shot by the cops when the cops pull up? I have played that video over and over and over and over again here on this very show. It happens over and over again. Your good person with a gun We'll get shot by the cops when they pull up on scene because it's a chaotic situation and the cops have no idea who is a danger. And usually that good person with a gun is black, by the way. Yeah, we are, but that doesn't mean that we don't support fucking common sense legislation that keeps guns out of the hands of people that would do harm to others. Why on earth do you idiots think the answer is more guns? Makes zero fucking sense to me. The answer is less guns. You can be in favor of gun ownership and also think there are way too many goddamn guns in this country. Both of those facts, both of those things can be true at the same time. That personal gun ownership is, is a right and should be supported and also that we have too many goddamn guns in this country. Hey, Steeler, the dude at the clinic we watched the other night didn't have a fucking gun. Idiot. Fucking shit. And, and there have actually been studies that show when, when shooters are confronted with people that are armed... They are more likely to commit, commit violence. That you you don't have the person that was unarmed taking them down. That armed police at a school actually increase the likelihood that a school shooter will kill more people. That's a real fucking study. Now, I don't know the validity. I don't know if it's been replicated over multiple studies. But that I, I've at least seen that once. So come the fuck on. You can't look at the situation right now and think, oh, this is good. The way we're doing things is the right way. So how about we quit listening to idiots that say things like, good guy with a gun, and listen to some people who might actually have a solution that will, will fix the problem. We're the only goddamn country where this happens this frequently. It is appalling. Get pissed off about it. Stop listening to idiotic NRA propaganda. We absolutely should ban the gun lobby. I personally, my, my fucking solution is to ban the commercial sale and manufacture of guns. That's my solution. Don't even have to change the constitution to do that. You're not outlawing uh, personal ownership, but if you ban the commercial sale and manufacture of guns, you will get rid of the gun lobby. Because that's all it is, man. That's all it is. That good guy with a gun argument, that's just marketing to sell more guns, you idiot! 
And I'm sorry to go off on you and call you an idiot, but how many times do I have to hear the same goddamn nonsense argument over and over again? And it's just propaganda by the gun lobby to sell more guns. All they care about is selling more guns. More money. It's the capitalistic incentive. Follow the fucking money. We're going to have some fun here tonight. I don't want to repeal the Second Amendment. I'm down with personal gun ownership. I am down with responsible gun ownership. But here's a here's a fact that you're going to have to get fucking comfortable with. Most fucking people in this country, the majority of people in this country, aren't responsible. So the majority of the people in this country shouldn't be allowed to access a gun. Idiot. Here's your smokey. Dealer, shut the fuck up. You're dumb. You are a fucking moron. Well, let me propose this other fucking scenario. Well, you, well, don't you want this, and this, and this to happen? No, shut the fuck up. Idiot. You're dumb. You are repeating the propaganda of the gun lobby. They want to sell more guns. That's why their solution to mass shootings is, oh, the good guy with a gun. All they care about is lining their pockets while children and minority communities are laying dead in the streets. Seriously, go fuck yourself, dude. You suck up you suck as bad as your fucking football team does. Of course the cops don't want to help anybody. The cops aren't there to help anybody other than themselves. They want they want to help themselves to some kids and they want to rape some kids. They want to take some women into custody and rape them. They want to they wanna steal drugs and have their confidential informants fucking sell them back to the community. I don't like you. You're a fucking idiot. You come in here fucking repeating nonsense and it pisses me off. Fucking stick to football, you idiot. Don't come in here and try to tell me about something you don't know about. It pisses me off. It is okay not to have a strong opinion about shit you're not informed on. That is, that is my goal with this show is I want to, I want to get that across to people. It is okay not to have a strong opinion about something you're not that informed on. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. He's a little asshole. <coughs> Socrates. See, I keep my door closed as to, you know, my my noise out in here stays in here. Bro, shut the fuck up and listen then. Why is it always, why do people always come in here I was, I was telling the cat story. I was calm down. I was telling the cat story. Why do people always come in here, repeat the dumbest right-wing propaganda they've ever heard, and then been like, well, bro, inform me. Shit, how many times do I have to debunk the good guy with a, a gun argument, you dumb shit? Why don't you try listening to what people have to say? Inform you is what I'm trying to do here on the Troll Patrol. That's what we do here every night. Yes, I love that I finally got the uh, Ha Ha Troll approved. Uh, did they, they didn't approve my other one, I don't think. No, they did I have the cool... It's not going to get approved. I have one of a lighter and a joint. <laughs> And the joint, lighting the joint, and then a big puff of smoke coming from the other side. It is is the coolest gif, but it's not going to get approved on Twitch. 
Mike Honcho 2024. I would vote for you over over Trump, DeSantis. Uh, there are many people I, I would vote for you over. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I don't even know what you stand for. But if you want to know what I stand for, if you're new here, I can uh, sum that up in one simple phrase. Whatever political philosophy allows me to piss in Dan Crenshaw's open eye hole, that's the political philosophy I subscribe to. Jesus fucking Christ, Steelers, what are you talking about? My God. I also said most people in the United States aren't fucking responsible enough to hold a gun. Guy Gomet, good evening. You got here just in time if you wanted to miss out on the shitty shit. I've been yelling at this at this commenter about gun restrictions the whole time because, like, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I am pissed that you see a story about a mass shooting of a minority group, and your first thought is, "Well, I better make sure the gun owners are safe." It doesn't piss you off that people died. The fuck is wrong with you? Why is the, the, I'll tell you why. NRA propaganda. The people who want to sell more guns have a lot of money to spend on fucking brainwashing you. That's why your position seems to be, oh, we need more guns. In the face of a mass shooting. That's why your response to a mass shooting is not to get pissed off and want to do something about it. It's to repeat the fucking marketing of the NRA. God damn. Come on, man. All right, guys. The rest of the show is is pretty fun. So let's, let's get a little high. We'll put the we'll put the gun stuff behind us. <laughs> Well, then why the, you're, you're, okay, first of all, I, I, I don't argue with people in the chat. If you want to have a conversation, you're going to have to call in or hop in the discord. But you're, if you're just going to say the same fucking stupid shit the NRA has been saying for 30 years, that has produced more death. Your way doesn't work. Do you understand that? You're repeating the prevailing mindset of the last 30 fucking years, and it doesn't work. Idiot. If you'd like to have a conversation with me, 917-830-4359. I haven't even gotten to try out the, since we've done the new graphics, I haven't gotten to, to even pull up uh, the phone screen. Not once yet. So please, let's have a conversation, but are you just going to say the same goddamn bullshit I've heard from every fucking idiot? good because you're you're not gonna fucking say anything original you're just gonna repeat the same shit that i could hear from some other person who who's far more well spoken then i could yell about that not to not to not to be down on you or anything i'm just i'm very upset this shit pisses me off and it should you too. I don't know, they haven't said any. They haven't been uh, abusive or hateful in any way. Steelers been super cool. Not even walked anywhere up to the line. They've just said dumb shit.
other than saying dumb shit that you can hear from any right wing idiot. I love me some free speech. Clinically, good evening. Yeah, dumb shit is totally allowed. Please come to our Discord server. We got plenty of dumb shit going on in there. I was wondering. I was wondering, like, did DM leave the server? And no, I woke up. I woke up this morning to... No, DM didn't leave the server. <laughs> I had plenty to read, uh, taking the morning constitution. DM stands for dumb motherfucker. I, I love him. I, I mean, I don't. I mean, I get very pissed off and yell and shit in the Discord too, but like can't tell me I wasn't happy to see him. Ooh, here's me an idiot I can fucking pick on. Man, <laughs> I fucking say his name and he appears. A wild DM. I do not know shit about the sporty ball. I have no clue if the Steelers are good or not. I guess since you lost today, I did good with my joke there, making fun of your sports team. Yeah, you're just repeating the you're you're repeating the marketing of the gun industry. If your solution to mass shootings is more guns, wake up. You are repeating the marketing of the gun industry, which does not care about you. They want to make money selling guns. All right. All right. We're going to we're going to get off the mass shooting now. Another day in Mass Shooting USA. And here's DM saying one of the dumbest fucking things that he could possibly say. Mm. Why? Why do they just repeat? the NRA talking points verbatim and be like, ha ha, gotcha, lib turd. Fuck. You're totally cool, Jeremy. Yeah, fucking... The rest of the world laughs at us. And then the Republicans are like, the rest of the world makes fun of us because of Joe Biden. No, they made fun of us because of Trump. They make fun of us because of this stupid shit. Yeah, you help fund the NRA. I'm, I'm well aware, you stupid motherfucker, that funnels Russian money to fucking Republican campaigns that has been <laughs> embezzling for fucking years, that is a corrupt organization. There's no doubt in my mind that you fund the NRA, you stupid motherfucker. You know nothing about its history and how the actual, like, the gun rights organizations split away from it in the 80s because they're like, we don't like what you're doing. You're a fascist fucking political organization. And they denounce them. You're laughing, but what I'm saying is true. The NRA is nothing but a giant fucking fraud. Are you an idiot, DM? Yes. No one's trying to take away your Second Amendment, you stupid motherfucker.
Mox, good evening. That is what is called a straw man argument in logic. This is why I keep calling you stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about ever. Your logical fallacy is straw man. You misrepresented someone's argument to make it easier to attack by exaggerating, which is what you just did, misrepresenting or just completely fabricating someone's argument. It's much easier to present your own position as being reasonable, but this kind of dishonesty serves to undermine honest, rational debate. This is all fucking right-wingers have. They completely misrepresent what we're talking about to make themselves seem more reasonable. And then they try to be like, well, I'm the logical one. Not knowing they are committing a fucking logical fallacy. This is why I call you goddamn stupid DM. You're not seeing DM's messages? He's on Twitch. I see him. What are you guys smoking? I'm the one who's high here. Ola Kala. Good evening. So glad to see you tonight. Oh my God. I just, I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I just keep having idiots. Say the dumbest fucking things possible. We're going to be up against a commercial break here in a second. Well, the stupid people sure as shit aren't going anywhere. Fuck. You're, you're fucking making the dumbest goddamn arguments possible and then being like, well, why aren't you informing me? You don't want to be informed. You're not, you're not an honest actor. You didn't, if you're, if every time I make a point, your next point is to say something fucking stupid. Some fallacious argument that you heard from some right wing nonsense back to me. You're not actually trying to learn anything. Doing it to me here on Trans Day of Remembrance, too. Are you trying to post a, a link, Venus? Drop it in the Discord. If you're on Discord. So, we're... We're gonna not be as serious when we come back. We're gonna talk about... Guy News. Guy News wished Joe Biden a happy 80th birthday. This should be really good. I originally wanted Fox News, but I think Sky News is going to be even better. We have a new bombshell report. Bombshell report on Hunter Biden. It's going to blow the lid right up. I swear, I swear, this time, this time we got him. They're going to blow the lid off of the Hunter Biden scandal. New bombshell report. Blowing the lid off of the Hunter Biden scandal. We're going to show you how uh, former President Trump's administration curbed free speech. Uh, Attacks on... uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on here. This motherfucker... The administration blocked government websites aimed at helping Americans vote, fighting human trafficking, easing homelessness, and stopping fraud. Let me repeat that again. The Trump White House blocked government websites aimed at helping Americans vote, fighting human trafficking, easing homelessness, and stopping fraud. Because idiot ass right wingers are going to tell you that like they're the party of law and order. 
while, you know, having the, the criminal former president. Blocked government websites fighting human trafficking. They say they're the ones that are protecting the children, by the way. But, like, DM accused us of using a loss of life for political purposes. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers are the save the children motherfuckers that don't actually care about saving the children. That organizations that fight human trafficking say they're actually hindering their ability to be able to fight human trafficking. Meanwhile, fucking Trump probably did some human trafficking. Matt Gates probably did some human trafficking. These people are hypocrites. My apologies to everyone for getting really upset about this whole gun issue. We had people just repeat NRA fucking talking points in the face of yet another mass shooting. DM allowed A L O U D does not you can't even spell simple words and you think you're fucking smart you are an idiot learn it understand it you're not smart stop acting like you are you're a fucking moron His dyslexia has nothing to do with his stupidity. He's not like fucking up the orders of the of the letters. He's literally spelling the words correctly and getting the wrong version of the word. Like your or allowed just then. And he keeps blaming his dyslexia when I call him a fucking moron. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh my god, gun free zones seem to get targeted more. Or, or could it be that likely targets are the ones that declare themselves gun-free zones? And do you, do you idiots think gun-free zone is supposed to prevent people from bringing guns in? It's about the punishment for carrying a gun in a gun-free zone. It's about the laws on the back end when people break them. Why do you people always act? Like, oh, well, people come into gun-free zones with guns, so gun-free zones don't work. It's about the law, you stupid motherfucker. Your argument is insane. How dumb are you? The fuck? Oh. Missed your balls. Good evening. Uh, Steelers, how stupid is your question? School is a gun-free zone, and they have school shootings, but how many uh, uh, gun shootings happen at a gun store? One, more than you would probably uh, like to uh, acknowledge happen at gun stores. But two... Why would a disaffected kid who's mad at his classmates want to go shoot up a gun store? Do you realize how stupid what you are saying is? Do you think we're stupid? You think we're fools? This is why we need to teach logic in schools. You people don't understand the stupidity of what you say to me. And then you, you fucking uh, wonder why I call you idiots and dumb fucks. 
It's a burden. Because they don't allow people, except for all the schools that have armed officers that still had school shootings. You stupid fuck. DM, you are an idiot. Have you heard the freaking news? YouTube, Facebook, and all of big tech are trying to do a cancel culture on Justin Freakin. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Help the channel stay alive and grow by subscribing or following, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, even when one platform tries to shut us up. He's kicking authority in the balls. If you have a despair and really want to show support, consider subbing on Twitch, becoming a patron, or a member on YouTube. You'll get access to extra delights and debauchery, and you'll have my eternal appreciation. Thank you for being a freaking follower, and have a great freaking day.